Hello, I'm Jason Tamaric. One of the challenges facing a cinematographer is getting the color temperatures of a light fixture to match. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you several techniques you can use to match light sources and how to deliberately mismatch them to create the desired look on screen. Oftentimes, you're going to have to shoot your subject against a window or an open door like this. And that's gonna create not only an exposure problem, but also a problem with matching the color temperatures of your light sources. So in this example, I'm framing Jenny, but I have my exposure set for her skin tones. But because of the difference in the brightness of light, you notice how grossly overexposed the outside is. So it looks like she's in heaven or in a nuclear apocalypse or something and we don't necessarily want that for this particular shot. So the option I have is to throw a neutral density filter onto my lens, or I could just close the aperture. I wanna keep the same shallow depth of field, so I'm going to keep my aperture open and just throw a neutral density filter in to get the proper exposure. Now, if you look at this frame, the background uh, outside is properly exposed, but Jenny is really underexposed so much so that she just looks like a shadow silhouette against the background. So in order for me to bring up the light level, I'm going to fire up another light source. In this case, watch your eyes, an Airy 1K Tungsten Fresnel. Now, this is doing a really nice job bringing up her exposure, but there's a big mismatch in the color temperature of the light sources. See, outside is being lit by sunlight, which is 5,600 Kelvin. And because it's overcast and rainy today, it's actually an even bluer color temperature. And that makes the warmth from our 3,200 Kelvin Airy Fresnel even more warm. And we can see the mismatch on camera. So my only option in shooting with the tungsten light is to put CTB in front of the light fixture. So again, using my C47s, to put my CTB, I am able to color correct the light. So now the color temperature of my airy tungsten Fresnel matches the outside sunlight. But notice how it's not enough light. Because remember, that CTB is reducing the brightness of the light by two f-stops. So that light is only 25% of the original brightness, and it's not quite enough for me to get proper exposure. Well, thankfully, LEDs are gonna come in and save the day. So instead of using a tungsten light, I'm going to swing in my LEDGO S280MC, and this is a beautiful, beautiful soft light source. And so when I fire this up, this light is bicolor, which means that I can alternate between 3200 Kelvin tungsten color balance and a 5600 Kelvin for sunlight. So I'm able to set my color temperature so it matches the outside sunlight. And since I'm not using any gels, I don't have any light loss. So I get the full and complete output from the light with the proper color temperature and look at how beautiful it looks on camera. We have proper exposure and the color temperatures match so that the color of both the sunlight and our LED light both appear as white. Now, one added benefit is that this light, even though it's brighter and has a better output, is consuming a fraction of the power. See, this light is only drawing 280 watts as opposed to my, L, my uh, Airy tungsten light, which was drawing 1,000 watts. So about 25% of the power consumption for almost three times the brightness. And that is the power of working with LEDs on set today. All right, guys, there you have it. A few techniques to help you improve your film skills. Now, if you really want to improve the quality of your productions, I'll take you much deeper into the entire filmmaking process in the paid course at Film Skills Unlimited, where I partnered with Airy, Audio Technica, Panavision, Matthew Studio Equipment, Ledgo, and Kinoflow to produce an online training curriculum so complete that over 115 film schools, universities, and film commissions use my program. Plus, I sat down with over 70 Academy Award and Emmy-winning filmmakers who reveal the techniques they use to produce the biggest TV shows and movies ever made. So join over 20,000 filmmakers and learn how to write better screenplays, become a more effective director on set, master advanced cinematography techniques, unlock the full capabilities of your camera and lens, improve your shots with Hollywood lighting techniques, learn how to record audio, design sets, edit, and much more. 
And as a special bonus, I've also negotiated special discounts on software and gear just for Film Skills members. And as a member, you also have exclusive access to hundreds of projects and exercises to practice and hone your skills. Plus, nearly 2,000 pages of my illustrated companion guides, personal mentoring, job shadows, and much more. So check out filmskills.com for more information. And by the way, you're also invited to join my free one-hour filmmaking course, where I share my top 10 secrets to achieving a professional look that helped me grow a career shooting in over 35 countries for top studios and brands. So check out the link below to register for my free one-hour filmmaking course and learn how to become a better filmmaker at Film Skills, the online film school built by filmmakers for filmmakers.